everyone, it's Tina for Cat Scrappiness. Today I have a shaker card to share with you, but first I wanted to share with you the new sprinkles that are in the store. So here is the Mystical Leaves Sprinkles, and look how stunning that is. It's all colored leaves. That's going to be a fun shaker card. There's Hard Candy Sprinkles, and it's all kinds of candies that you would find that are hard and not soft based. We have the apple sprinkles and look how adorable. You have some that are, are complete apple and some that are cut in half. Very, very sweet. And for those pizza lovers out there, you have the pizza slice sprinkles. That's gonna be fun. And I hope I pronounced this right, but this is the one that excited me the most. Kawaii cloud sprinkles. So you have all these little sprinkles that are clouds. And look, there's a rainbow with two little white clouds. So that's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to be using the following product to create the shaker card. It's called, this is called the double stitched rectangle dies, and it's going to create a border. And I'm going to use these two. So that'll be for my pattern paper on the outside. And on the inside, I'm gonna reverse the pattern paper and it'll be from the die cut of the smaller rectangle. I'm gonna be using the Never Ending Rectangles die. This will create my um, acetate window. And I'm going to be using, and I'm so excited because it's actually a very pretty pattern paper from Honey Bee Stamps. It's over the rainbow. And there's so many fun, fun pages in here. But I decided I'm going to be using this as my cover and it matches perfectly with the clouds. It's, it's, it's actually the same color. And the reason why I'm going to be uh, die cutting it with the double stitch rectangles die is that I don't want to uh, waste the inner part of it because I'm going to use this in the inside of my shaker card. I figured I don't want something too busy. So we're going to get started. First thing you want to do is you want to cut your card base eight and a half by five and a half and score it at four and a quarter. So I put it in my scoring tool and with my bone folder, I'm going to score at four and a quarter. Fold it in half. I turn my scoring tool around. And there you go, we have our card base. Before I die cut, I wanted to show you that I put um, stitch rectangle dies on top of the pattern paper and I've secured it with some purple tape. This way, when it passes through the die machine, it won't move and it'll be perfectly aligned the way that I placed it. I've passed it through my die cutting machine and I have my two parts. So this is my frame and this will be the inside flipped over and it'll be the confetti on the inside. So. I've placed double-sided tape on the inner part of the rectangle and I'm going to remove the release sheet and this will hold the acetate window. And I've already die cut my window to the right size. Now I'm just going to place it down and there you go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm going to apply it to the back side of the background. And what I did is, um, because I want everything to be aligned, because it's, it's, it's not larger than the window, it's just the same as the window, I've marked in pencil my corners so I know where it's aligned. So I'm taking the glue and I'm applying it to the back side.
and I'm going to place an acrylic block on top just to let it dry flat. Okay, so before I finish off the shaker card, I need to erase the pencil lines. So with a sand eraser, I'm just gently removing the pencil lines. Okay. So I'm going to be placing the sprinkles inside. Look how cute that is. Okay, we'll save that for later. I'm spreading them out because I don't want too many on top of each other because that'll prevent it from moving inside the card. A little bit more. Okay, so I've put double-sided tape on the back side and I've doubled, uh, doubled it up. Therefore, um, there's a lot of room for the sprinkles to shake. Oh, but before I put that on, I need to use some anti-static powder just on the inside, it helps to prevent the, uh, the sprinkles from sticking to the side. It's not perfect, you'll still have some for sure, but it's, it'll help nonetheless. Okay. So now I'm gonna remove the release sheet. That is so sweet. I love these little clouds. Hopefully they come in different colors because that would be fun. I decided uh, to actually die cut some clouds to place on top and then I will place this on top. So I die cut my clouds from Here's Risen and I die cut it in white and I wasn't too happy with it. It didn't, uh, it didn't really pop the way that I wanted to. So what I did is I took a Spectrum Noir alcohol marker and this one is IB2 and I colored using the chisel side of it for faster coloring. And I'm really happy. I matched it with the colors perfectly. Once again, I'm using the Nouveau De Deluxe Adhesive and I'm going to be gluing the back side. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to be stamping the sentiment. For my sentiment, I decided on the everyday brush strokes, you color my world, um, but it doesn't fit well on my cloud. So I'm doing some surgery. <laughs> I'm using some washi tape to cover the U and I'm going to stamp color my world. And I'm gonna ink it up with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And before I stamp it, I'm just going to remove the washi tape. So it'll only stamp what I inked. Now I'm going to clean the stamp and uh, color my world and just stamp the U on top of it. Okay, so I've covered up the sentiment that I don't want, and I'm inking up just the U, removing the washi tape. And there you go. Once again, I'm gonna use the glue. I'm gonna place it on the back. And there you go. It's 
super fun. So all the products that I've used are linked down below as well as on the blog. I want to wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.